chicken noodle soup when I was sick at the age of four or five, canned Campbell's soup. But that was okay with me, because if you added a lime to it, it's not so bad. So I know it's a cliche to say that, you know, your mother was your inspiration in cooking. But for me, again, it was my mother. She was a brilliant host and a very good cook. And I used to sit in the kitchen with her and learn. Though it was in our traditional families, usually the girls who used to help the mother. But I, as a boy, was much better than my sisters. I've been around food a lot, from my grandmother, my mom, from making gnocchi, uh, ravioli, and even tomato passata. All the concept all about food, uh, love, uh, family get together. I think it's something magical about it. My mother would uh, throw big parties. Um, I really got to connect with food through helping out in those, uh, in those big events, um, picking mussels, scrubbing them up all afternoon. I love the, the big event, I love the feast. Uh, I love having people around late at night. It's good fun. It's naughty when you're a kid to stay up and knit wine. Well, I grew up in the countryside. It was a kind of very rural um, community. It was farming. And uh, we ate quite simple food at home. Meal times were about conversation and politics and noise. But there was a sense that you ate what was growing in, at the time. And so, um, you know, the idea of seasonality was very, very important at a very early age. One of the first things I remember cooking probably was something like an onion soup back at school. Yeah, we, we didn't do much cooking at school. We did a lot more paperwork and copying from books. But uh, I remember making onion soup, taking it home to my dad, and he ate the whole lot. Uh, he loved it, which was, you know, I was like, yeah, really proud of that, really. My grandmother was Chinese, um, my father's mother, and my mother mother was Egyptian. So the diversity of cuisine that I had at a very early age um, made me appreciate food tremendously, especially when they sent me to English boarding school, because I didn't realize that food could be a horrible experience until they sent me here. My mom was quite a, a keen cook, and she was a strong believer in family eating and everybody eating together and she always made sure that we had a very balanced diet as well and, and as a young kid that's not really what you want to hear uh, eating balanced food and stuff you just want to eat all the nice stuff so we used to eat stuff, loads of fish uh, loads of stuff like offal and liver no one I know ever before or probably since has ever eaten pig's liver and my mum used to grill it uh, and it had like veins and arteries and stuff in it and I used to see it under the grill I used to see it spitting under the grill and I was like oh this disgusting you know horrible food put me off but at the same time good in the fact it stuck in my memory and it so you know it's probably stayed with me to eat healthily or eat a balanced diet food and family is everything to me I really believe that the table is a last bastion of civilization I think it's the last place where we actually talk to each other only time we really share intimate things with us, we get people hired at a table, fired at a table, relationships start at a table, they break up, um, families get together around a table and it's the family time that I particularly love. I have pretty strong memories from hunting as a child. Um, a typical weekend would start 5 a.m. on a Saturday, um, going into the woods, sitting on a stand. We'd sit until about 9 unless you shot something. Uh, we'd go back to the camp and have a big fry up. Those are some of the best food memories, uh, you know, uh, cooking over a uh, butane uh, camp stove. My grandparents have got a um, cottage in the Laurentians just outside of Montreal. Um, and I can remember going fishing for fresh sea bass um, and taking it back to the cottage, it kind of swimming around inside the buckets, and then my uncle taking them out <laughs> and pretty unceremoniously killing them and sticking them on the grill. Mm -hmm.